What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. So, right now we're uh, working on the F-150, working outside. It's a little, it's one of the warmer days in December. We're almost 50 degrees right now in Indiana, so taking advantage of that. I like working outside every now and then. Uh, I don't know if you notice, the new truck, one of the things missing that drives me nuts has some type of liner right here. It's uh, it's all white, drives me crazy. And it doesn't look good, it needs to be black, just like the front, they should match, right? So, picked up some Husky liner, uh, wheel liners for the rear. We're gonna put them in, I already cleaned it up, made sure it was nice and clean before I throw it in there. Let's take a look, follow me to the back. All right, we're gonna take a look right here. Here's one of the liners, so, I started out by ceramic coating them. That way they are easier to clean. Definitely, definitely a must. But if you see, I've only got one right here. That's cause I already installed the driver's side one. Um, but you use four of these little metal clips per side, four screws. They all go in existing holes already in, in your fender. So if you can see right here, P in the part number, that stands for passenger side. The other side has a, a D for driver's side. It's a quick video, we're just gonna slap this in and show you how you do it. All right, coming in here. We're gonna use this hole right here, this one. We're gonna use this one. Those two get clips, we're gonna clip them in. Also, we're gonna use this hole right here. You can't clip it in, you have to put the clip in. You just have to put the clip on the back. Uh, I didn't really care for that, because the clip could obviously work its way loose and fall out. I don't know, I don't know if it will. We'll see, time will tell. Same thing with up here, towards the front. I don't like, another thing I don't like is when I go to put this clip on, I'm scratching my paint. So, to combat that, I'm gonna use a, a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna pry it open just a little bit, and push it on. And hopefully not scratch my paint up too bad to where I'm removing it we obviously want it there for a little bit of corrosion protection. Yes, this truck is aluminum. It's not steel, so it won't rust, but aluminum does corrode. Same thing with this other side. Now we gotta sit the liner up in there. We're gonna push it up in. A few moments later. Don't do that. All right, got your screw in. I'm just gonna put them, just uh, thread them in. I'm not gonna tighten them all the way just yet. So, I don't know if you guys can see, there's the hole right there. So on this back side, up underneath here, we're gonna put our screw So I just spin it on there a little bit. And then with my flathead screwdriver, or on my flathead, my Phillips stubby. Just 
going to get it, just give it a little, a little bit of a snug tighten. We'll uh, tighten her up a little bit more here in a second. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side now. Alright guys, there you have it. Once you get it all tightened up, it looks pretty good. I got a black wheel, wheel well right there. I got a black one up front. So there you have it guys. Pretty simple. It's a good upgrade too. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Looks good. Definitely, uh, definitely improves the look of the truck already. Um, so yeah, it's a quick video. Pretty simple mod. I don't know if it's a mod or a repair. I think it's more of a repair. Because it should come with this. Anyway, catch you guys in the next video. See ya.